For this I tried two different kinds of clay. First I tried this homemade bottle magic that I'll link the recipe to. I, spoiler alert, ended up liking this one better but I also used just regular air dry clay which also worked really well so I will show you both of them. But we'll start out with this homemade bottle magic. I rolled the clay into a log about the length of the croissant that I wanted, and then I started focusing on tapering off the ends. Then it's time to add the classic crescent shape by just bending the sides down a little bit. To give the illusion that the croissant had actually been rolled up, I decided to roll out this very thin sheet of clay, and then I cut out a triangle that was about 3 fourths the width of the croissant to lay over top of it. Then I just gently draped over that triangle and then I cut off the excess and kind of tucked it under the bottom. And then I did the same thing except this time I did a more narrow triangle so that it would fill up maybe two thirds of the first triangle. And of course, every good croissant has layers. So I took this clay tool, you could also use like a plastic knife or even a regular knife, and I just started putting indentations into it to give the illusion of the layers. And then in addition to just the layers around the side, I wanted to make sure the whole thing had that kind of crinkly texture, so I just went over everything. And here I'm just showing you the exact same process. This is just done with the air dry clay just so you can see what it might look like. Then I set both of the croissants to the side to dry. Now the homemade model magic one did crack a bit and normally that would be a bad thing but I feel like it actually lended itself well to the texture of the croissant. But just know in general that if you do make that air dry clay it will be cracky. <laughs> Then I mixed up sort of a burnt yellow color and the colors I used for this were vanilla ice cream, apricot, and territorial beige all from Apple Barrel. And I put that on as a first coat over both of them and this will be kind of the overarching color of the croissant but then we're going to put another layer over top to give it more dimension. For the second layer I'm mixing up pretty much the same color just not putting in the vanilla ice cream color so it's darker. And I'm putting a bit of that on the brush and then wiping it off on a paper towel actually so that I get like the most minimal amount onto the croissant itself. And I really want to make sure that I'm not putting it down into those crevices. I just want it to be lightly dusted over everything. And then I finished off everything by adding a matte Mod Podge top coat. 